Hi everybody, welcome to another technique talk video where we analyze some dancing. So hopefully you can see the ins and outs of ballet. Um, today we're gonna be doing Dewdrop, which I posted about two years ago. This is an in-studio run of Dewdrop. It is not a performance because I'm not allowed to show you any performance videos and quite frankly, I don't have one of me to do Dewdrop. Uh, perhaps I should work on that. Two things though, yes, I'm in our very messy office. It's the last thing to be done at the studio, but such is life and it was the only place I could film today. So you're gonna have to put up with a very messy background. And secondly, I am wearing this outfit because it is actually Halloween at the studio. Um, I will insert a photo here of Chris and I as Mary Poppins and Bert. Um, today is a Saturday, it's actually the 29th and we are doing a whole company thing for the kids. They can dress up, da da da, so we thought we'd be Mary Poppins and Bert, and I didn't feel like changing just to film this video, so messy office, didn't feel like changing, so you're getting Mary Poppins today, maybe I can actually do the whole thing in this accent, but I don't think that would be a good idea. Um, okay, so let's go through this. Like I said, this is an in-studio run. Now the thing about Dewdrop is it is a happy, joyful, five entrances, you're on, you're off, but the, the problem with it is that it is only five entrances. And so you kind of have to go 150% for five minutes. Um, I do really love this role. It is super fun. It is super um, joyful. I don't know. It's not as stressful as Sugar Plum, but at the same time, it's like, you gotta, you gotta go. Okay, so let's go through this. Uh, yeah, I think this was from two years ago and it did not download in the greatest quality. So I apologize for that. So... Uh, like I said, you got to come out with a bang. You're in the middle of the flowers at this point. Um, one thing we talked about in Giselle is my Balanchine port bra, which I tried to tame for Giselle, but here you're going to see it in full force because Balanchine's dew drop is very like bleh. So <laughs> you're going to see the full force port bra. So right here, you can see it here. It is not tamed. It's kind of wild. Um, could be a little less wild, up and down. That was nice. They always talked about the up and over passe, which as you can see here, it's not a simple balance. Um, when I was coached in this role, they wanted to keep the energy going. So you'll see this passe doesn't stop. Up and down. Now, these little, <laughs> these little runs should be in fifth. They're not because I have really big feet and it's really hard to do and perhaps I'm just not there. But <laughs> these runs, as you'll see, I'm gonna go forward now, they should be in fifth. But as you can see, I kinda hit first, 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 first. <laughs> they should be in fifth. Um, the other thing you're aiming for right there is I kinda missed the position, which I tend to do when I, you have really long arms, you have really long legs. I tend to have trouble stopping and hitting positions, um, which right here, See, I miss it in this, this realm. Now what it should look like is that. Do you see how you hit? I hit the line on this side, but I didn't hit the line. That's actually quite nice. I didn't hit the line on the first side. So watch one more time. I miss it there, but I hit it there. Ideally, you're supposed to hit that twice. Not sure a lot of people do because it's so fast, but there it is. Balance A, balance A. Tourgete, that's great. Up. Okay. Um, another little note, self note for me. Sometimes my, yeah, my sidearm and écarté, again, being the wild, let's dance this and that, my sidearm and écarté gets too high, which we kind of talked about in Giselle. I often, again, it's, it's a struggle for me with my freakishly long arms. I actually have freakishly long arms. Um, to control them <laughs> and so I get a little bit high in the a carte on that one uh, let's see if I do it here too yep see well it should be in an, in theory the perfect line of the a carte first of all I'm sinking into this hip we could be a little more lifted is is a little bit dropped there but I get a little bit high and the problem with that especially when you're going up into the position dancers is because you've got the momentum I see it in class too with people Oftentimes the momentum of the développé lifts the arm and the shoulder. So if you're having this issue too, don't let the momentum of the développé bring that arm up. Keep that shoulder down. Um, that we could be a little squarer on. That's not good. That's right. This I love. I love this step. 
I actually add more bend in it than most people do. Um, a lot of dewdrops keep it straight up and down. I bend it more just because I actually can't. It's one of those things that I'm good at. <laughs> and so I bend it more. I do it in sugar plum too. I bend it more than most people. See that up and overhead sort of deal. Um, a lot of dewdrops. Again, you have to kind of figure out what works for you, but a lot of dewdrops play it straight. They do it just straight up and down. But I kind of give it the the bend backwards because my upper body and all of that is quite nice. So I tend to bend it more. Okay, second entrance. Um, first of all, <laughs> see my see my point. Why am I running with my arms above my shoulders? Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Little PKs. These are supposed to be low. This side's not as good as the other side. There we go. Uh huh. Nice low arabesque. Cross the wrist. Oh, that's another thing that is very much um, part of the balancing technique is the cross wrist. You learn it as a child. They 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 cross the wrist to go to fifth. So you'll see here as we go up to fifth. See how the wrists are cross. That's not just choreography. That's balancing technique. They are trained, and we were trained at SAB, to when we go to fifth, it's like taking off a sweater. So both both arms, as I lose my computer, both arms cross to get to fifth. Um, just a little tidbit. Love this step too. Oh, see? Okay. Here we are again. This arm should be down here. It's, it's kind of a running thing for me, and it's really interesting to like go back and do these. Even though this was two years ago, I still do the same thing. I tend to get my arms too high. And it's, see, it would have been fine if I'd stopped there. But I keep it going, and it almost covers my face. Do you see that? You never want to cover your face. That was better. That one was better. Just a little, little too fluffy, but it works. Now, fun fact on this step. You do your little dee da 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 this step to fourth, right? Dee da 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 to fourth. Now, you're allowed to, as a dewdrop, go whichever way your arabesque is better. So I opt for this side and I do step an arabesque, but some dewdrops go across an arabesque. You literally are allowed to do whichever side is better. So my left leg in arabesque has always been better. Step. Potter shot. Oh, another place I missed the position. See, we kind of missed the position. That should be a full allonge tendu. Da, da, da. And then, and then here, you then catch up on the, the correct side. So the people who do the left leg have to do, let me show you, they do arabesque, fayi step to tendu. And if you've gone the other way, you simply step back. So that's a little fun fact. Do drops can pick whatever side on this section. Then you do pique fouette. This is hard because you're at a funky angle. You're at you're on the diagonal angle. Normally fouettes face the front, but you're actually on the diagonal. So that gets a little bit weird, and you have to hold your turn out. So you want to aim for the front. That was nice. See another another upper body Catherine Morgan moment. This okay. This is hard because you you have a lot to travel in not a lot of time. So you learn to like haul it out of the wing. <laughs> Literally haul it out of the wing. That was pretty good. The idea is to really show the double, which I do. Let's let's see. Ooh, backwards is not good. Let's see it in slow motion. One, two. Okay, the second one came into passe, the first one didn't. But you really want to show the double. That was pretty good. Here, arabesque, releve, releve. Ooh, don't drop your leg. Don't drop your leg. Bore. Now, this fouette combination is also a little bit different per dewdrop. Um, some people go around further in attitude. Some people do what I do, which is fouette, attitude, flip, all the way around. Just again, it depends on if you're on, if you're off. Um, and then some people, I opt for. Pirouette passe, or passe and pirouette. Some people, a la Tyler Peck <laughs> and Ashley Powder, can do double attitude. So again, it's 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 an option here of whether or not you do a normal pirouette, pull it in, or a double attitude. Double attitude is harder. I always, my, my motto is safety first. 
So if I'm even the slightest bit off, I remember like being like, nope. And in the moment you kind of decide whether you're gonna do the attitude or not. So in this particular day, I was not feeling it. So I opted for the clean um, classic. Okay, fourth entrance. Also, I don't. I went through this phase of not wanting to wear a bun, which I'm kind of back in that phase. So apologies for the messy hair. <laughs> we do balance A. Da, 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 da. That was nice. We're a little bit off the axis. See, we start okay, and then I let. This is another training thing. I let the weight of this back leg, as you're going to see in slow motion, pull me to my right side. Now, I hide it well because you're about to go into another balance, eh? but do you see how off I am there? You can hide it with the next step, but ideally, you when you do an arabesque, you want to stay right on your axis. But the balance, eh, it works. Georgia Tay. These are also in fifth. That was better. Okay, these were better than the first ones. These are, should also be in fifth. Da, 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 fifth. Yep, arm is okay. Da, 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 fit. Oops. Let's let's do that again. Hang on. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Ooh, it got stuck. That's okay. But look at the arm, too high. Theme, the Catherine Morgan theme is the arm tends to get too high. My favorite part <laughs> coming up, I have a nice picture in this part, Italian Padasha. That was actually quite good. Let's go back and see how our position is. I have a tendency to have, uh-huh. I have a tendency to have one arm higher in fifth than the other. They got me on that in Sleeping Beauty too. But in the moment, of course, it's so hard. Um, but look, I have, <laughs> oops, yeah. And then I will say what's really nice about this that I do is I actually land it in fifth. Fifth, look, we're crossed. It's almost over crossed. That's, that's impressive, I have to say. I, I'm proud of that one. Nope, that one too. I'm actually crossed. I didn't land it open. That's great. And then this too, this port de is kind of whatever you want to do. Da, 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 da. Great. Hide any point. The other thing about the balancing run is you were always taught to run on the absolute highest demi point you can possibly run. It's not even really a demi point. It's more of a three quarter point. So you like every time you run, you want to run on super, super high demi point. That's pretty good. Yeah, right there. Uh huh. Up. Oh, see, that one was better. Okay, that one was better. We're going to go back through and watch the whole thing without me stopping, by the way. But there. Do you see how I'm much more on my hip? And then as I do the tour jeté, I don't pull to the right. I pull straight back. Do you see? I did the chasse. I did not pull to the right on this one. That is how you want to stay on your leg. Right on it. There we go. Tour jeté. Second time. Chasse. Tour jeté. One and two. That was pretty good. Watch the back arm. Mm, see? Something to work on. Okay. And down. And one. Good. I get a little wristy in dew drop, but that's okay. It works. One and two. By this point, you can't feel your legs. You're like, I'm done. And two and three. Oof, wait. See, this is <laughs> this is me being lazy. That right there, that arabesque is me being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and like, well, this arm is not in front of us. This arm is way too high. Well, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, this looks good. This is about the only thing that looks good. But by this point, especially if it's quick, you're just like praying you get on point. That was a mess. Susu, that was nice. Okay. Up. These are on the Don Releves. Da, da, da. Double down. Uh huh. That was fine. Bore. Two. Whoops. That was a little punchy. That's okay. And there shouldn't be a delay here. This is just the recording I had. There's not usually a delay. You just go right. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So let's watch it again. The whole thing. I will not stop it. Now you can look for those things and I'll talk you through it without stopping. So you're in the middle of the flowers. We open. Free port de bras Bending with the back. Posse goes up and over. Nice. Tatandu. Didn't hit fifth. That's okay. Should hit the position. That one was nice. Balance, tour, jeté. Watch the sidearm. Side, I'm, I'm coaching like as if this is gonna change, but that's okay. <laughs> Up and down. On the hip, on the hip, 
Mm hmm. On the hip. Uh huh. Okay. Nice lower best. Wrists are crossed. Cross wrists. Cross wrists going up to fifth. And open. One stop. Ba dum bum bum. One stop. Ba dum bum bum. That's good. Arms are a little bit high. Up. Back. You get to choose your side. Good. It look, should look a little more like arabesque, not a bent knee. There we go. And then you're on the odd diagonal for this. Mm-hmm. Shane. Good. Double runner jump. Hit both. Good. Side arm's a little far behind me on that. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's a little bit whacked, but that's okay. Plie tendu whack leg. It's on brand. <laughs> Padre, fuerte, attitude. You can't, you just can't come down. You have to trust this step. You can't like bail on it. You've got to hold it. Sometimes I hit a triple on that. Not always. This time, at this point, you're happy. Oh, a little off to the left or the right. You're happy because the fuertes are over. Dee 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 dee. I'm cute. Dee 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 dee. I'm cute. Stay with the audience. Uh huh. Passe. One and uh, both arms even, but that's okay. <laughs> Good, nice fists. Breathe, you breathe at this point. Good, you've got one entrance to go. That was nice, we're on the hip. Little wrist flick. Watch the sidearm. Sidearm, a little bit high. Sidearm, yep, sidearm. It's a thing. We gotta work on it. You can play with the timing on that one, too. This could be a lot cleaner. These are nice, though. Up on the hip. You gotta be so up on your front hip on this. If you're lazy and don't get up on the front hip, it doesn't work. Four, eight, back. Two, three, low. There shouldn't be a delay here, but that's the only recording that yeah cool 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 so i hope this was helpful you guys again um not just for insights but for technique insights um if you want to go through romeo like this all the romeos i've posted technically we can do it um just let me know in the comments below um i can also maybe do a video of d recent dancing and then take you through it like Giselle. Let me know what you want to see. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.